Well, no one knows, of course, how big the market for smartphones may be. A leading research firm says that it'll hit $200 billion in 2012, but everyone is sure it will be big, which is why one of the biggest names in technology, Google, is jumping into the mobile market with both feet. Well, tonight we get a look inside the company's efforts to raise the bar for smartphone technology. Here's Neil Karlinski. Prepare to turn right. In case you hadn't noticed, at some point in the last few years, a phone stopped being just a phone. If you believe the hype, getting an iPhone, an Android phone, or a Windows phone can be a life-changing experience. Where is the iPhone for? The internet is filled with spoofs about the competition and love for all things iPhone. If it's not an iPhone, why would I want it? Nothing can compare to the iPhone. The guys over at the Apple Store assured me of this. Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. And if you think the battle for cool between the Mac and PC guy is intense... Future PC. Have they figured out how to make us as stable and as hassle-free as a Mac? Future PC just froze. You're missing the fight for the future sitting right in your hand. The people who put the Google in Google see those long lines outside the Apple Store for a new iPhone and want a piece of the action. What's Google doing in the phone business? So rather than saying that we're in the phone business, I'd like to say that we are in the uh, portable internet business. A pretty big John Lagerling is one of the heads of Google's Android unit. Not Android that they like to put it this way, but Android is Google's answer to the iPhone. And our cameras were the first the to be allowed inside Android headquarters in Silicon Valley, where every version of the Google phone and, uh, made worldwide uh, is proudly on display. So this is the Nexus S. It's a, uh, uh, the latest and greatest, uh, uh, at this point in time, uh, Android device. I'm, I'm quite excited about this device, yes. Can I touch your phone? <laughs> oh, you, can, you, can, you can touch my phone anytime. <laughs> <laughs> it's no joke to Google. They may differ with their Silicon Valley neighbors from Apple on some things, but on this they agree. Note to self, brush teeth before ABC interview. The future is mobile. Does Google have to be in mobile? Is it do or die? It's cheap computing power, it's portable, it's personal. It comes very natural that for many of these markets, we want to make sure that the Google services are available also on these devices. I think uh, the, the, the Google board really signaled very early that uh, mobile will be very important and we should bet on this. Right now, the iPhone outsells Google-powered phones, but it is a dynamic business and the latest numbers show Google gaining. It's especially important because the phone is steadily becoming the single most important device a person carries. When you head out to the store, for example, what do you bring? Your keys, a wallet or purse, cash and credit cards, maybe a shopping list, and of course, your cell phone. Soon you won't need any of it except the phone, which will swipe across products to deduct from your bank account and even act as a car key. In a lab in Santa Monica, California, for an application called Google Goggles, they're showing us how the phone's camera can identify products just by looking at them. Hartmut Nevin created Goggles. Among its many tricks, it can translate a menu written in his native German. So in German, it would have said uh, Salat von Roter Beete, and in English, this translates to Salad of Beetroot, Rocket Rapunzel with grated cheese. We tried it out at the famed Getty Museum in Los Angeles, where the phone knows practically every piece of art imaginable just by sight. The um, goggles already recognized it as um, Van Gogh. The stakes are extremely high because the phone and all the information it provides, not to you but about you, are the future of commerce. This is a major battleground for the future of computing. Kara Swisher is the executive editor of the influential Silicon Valley blog, All Things Digital. A lot of money is being put into a commerce, which is hugely important, again, because location gives you a lot of information of where you are and what you're doing. Some analysts see one piece of potentially good news for Google in Apple's history. By putting Android on as many different kinds of mobile phones as possible, Google is taking a page from Microsoft's Windows back in the 90s which dominated Apple by getting on many different computers, while Apple, back then, just like the iPhone today, stuck with its own system run only by its own device. I mean, Google's not stupid to want to be on as many devices and choices as possible. People like choice. Walk into a supermarket, there's 400 kinds of cereal of the same kind. So Apple is making their bet that this is what you want. Android is making the opposite bet. 
Inherent in that bet is the notion that people will continue to feel comfortable sharing so much of their personal information. Between its phones, Gmail, and searches, Google now has the potential to know where you are at all times, who your friends are, what you're buying, and more. Well, that's the plan of the Borg. You know, that's what we call we call Google fondly here in Silicon Valley, the Borg. They're trying to, you know, suck up as much information as possible. They know what you're searching on, then they know what you're doing next. They know where you're going next, they know where you're moving next, they know where your actions are next. And so there's a potential for abuse, and that's what I think people are worried about. So any location data that, uh, uh, that Google is, is looking at is, is totally anonymized, and it's also temporal. We, uh, we will not... But you have to convince people of that. You can sit here and tell me that, but... People worry about we, those we would uh, We would be betting our future. So I think the risk for Google to misuse or even misrepresent what we're doing would be terribly much larger than what a potential upside would be. There is too much risk. To give you some perspective on how important getting Android right is to Google, consider this. It is essentially given away free to mobile phone makers just to get it out there and bring Google to your pocket. How much pressure is there on someone like you here? Mobile. I mean, Google's got to be playing big, big, big time in mobile. Uh, I think uh, we, have, we are getting a lot of attention and focus. Uh, it's both positive and negative. There's a lot of pressure. Uh, obviously, people have very high expectations. After all, a phone is no longer just for making calls. Navigate to nearest grocery store. And at Google, 3D. Yes. search is not enough. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Mountain View, California. Uh, so it's in, in Talk about smartphone. Google recently announced that 300,000 droid phones are being activated every day. The smartphone battle continues.